We just picked up a whole scoop of greenbacks from Hooked Up Live Baits. We're headed out to the sky. We're going after Mad Grove Snappers. So hang on, stay tuned. It's going to be exciting. Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Saltwater Fishing Gap Up. My name is Scott. Today we're out at the Skyway Bridge going after mangrove snapper. I want to show you how I'm going after them, and, but I'm going to show you the, the rods and the reels that I use. My uh, Saragusa 5000 here, I like it spooled with 40 pound line, and I use 25 pound fluorocarbon leader. I'm using these lighter jigs, 3 8 and half ounce, and um, with about a 4 to 5 foot leader. All depends, sometimes you get cut off, they get shorter, but the reason I like to use 40 is when you get hung up on the bottom, then you're not breaking it off. Uh, you're not breaking off your main line. You're breaking it off right at the uh, barrel swivel right there. That's why I like to use it. 40 pound uh, braid and then 20 to 25 pound fluorocarbon. I prefer 25. If it gets really rough out, you know where I'm in structure, I'll switch to 30, but I prefer the 25 Seaguar fluorocarbon. The next rod I'm going to use is my Shimano Twin Power, the 5000. I like the 5000 series uh, reels, and I got a drifter jig on here, and I have kind of turned it into a, a knocker rig. Look at this right here. This is a 5.0 uh, eighth ounce uh, drifter jig with a uh, three quarter ounce slip sinker on it, fluorocarbon leader. And uh, the reason I'm doing that is I'm going to put the scaled sardines on here. I'll show you how I hook them. These scaled sardines, just like this. I always like to put it right through the eye like that, bring it right down, just like that, bring it around, and then hook it through it like this. It's got to come around, just like this through that, and bring it right around to the top, just like this, so that hook is poking through, just like that. You see that? That's how I do that. And you, can, you don't have to have the weight on here, but I do and you want that hook showing through and then you just drop it down and this is a knocker rig see because it's below the uh the barrel swivel on the main line so that makes it a knocker rig if it's above the barrel swivel it's a carolina rig but that's how i'm going to do this in these scaled sardines i do this for grouper i do this for mangroves everything loves it like this this is how i do it always cut the belly part out so just like that so I hope everybody enjoys the show today. We're going to have a great time on Tampa Bay. Always do. Even though it's a little bit breezy here, you know, had to get out. And next uh, weekend's Memorial Day weekend. Hopefully it'll be, uh, uh, weather will be a lot better. But uh, give me a thumbs up or like. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you know what we do next. Let's catch some fish. Got a whole scoop of uh, greenbacks with some scaled sardines here from Hooked Up Live Baits. Look at these guys. Man, I tell you. Oh, I can see some big ones in here. Oh, these are really nice. That's gonna be really good right here. I like to keep it just like that. Fishing right here. There's the uh, South uh, Skyway Fishing Pier. That's the Gulf, that's North. That's Port Manatee right there. That's heading South. So that's where we're at today, so everybody knows where we're at. And uh, you know, the, the mangroves seem to be liking the structure around the bridge recently. Before I was getting them in the channel in the winter time and early, uh, early spring, but right now, right out here along the columns, all along all these columns. It's all good. You just start chumming them up and find out where they're at and um, go after them. They're out there, they're waiting. Well, what I like to do is I like to keep some herring for chum, threadfin herring, keep it on this side, and scaled sardines. And I like to use them for bait and I'm gonna use them on a knocker rig. 
I like to use the head part of it, cut up like just like that, and I cut the stomach part out just like this. And I'll show you how you put that on the hook. I use, like I said, I use a knocker rig, and I'm going to use one of my drifter jigs because it's kind of wavy out here today. It's just kind of breezy, and the tide's coming in. But uh, and this is just for chum. And um, this, I'm going to put on the hook. You can use this too, but uh, they really like the scaled sardines, and I always like to cut out that belly part of it. So, and you can use this part of it too on the hook. And uh, we'll see what they want, because I always like to offer uh, the mangroves uh, whatever they're going to bite on and hit on, then uh, use that and uh, go for it. So that's what we're going to do. you got the, the herring on that side, threadfin herring, and the sardines on that side. So uh, that's what we're going to do today. Go after the mangroves right here. The tide's going in, and I'm just going to toss it right out there with my, uh, with my bait bat right here. And uh, just give it a flick right out there and let it hit. And... Uh, it's really coming in today and just let it slowly sink down and then I'll cast my bait right with the jump and let it just let the line out and once they start schooling and hit it they usually hit right about here or there let the line sink with the chum and then get ready right there so uh, that's what we're gonna try today and uh, see if we can't get the uh, mangrove schooling probably pick up a gag you never know well I'm gonna fill up this bat right here with a uh, with a bunch of this chum like that just let it slide right down in there and just give it a flick right out there just like that and let it just sink just let it sink straight down in there those big chunks will slowly sink in the tide just like that and then right down there is where you're gonna get your hit you don't want to toss it here because then your baits gonna be your chums gonna be way out there so you want to toss it farther and then work the area where it's going down into the 30 foot depth here but that's what we're gonna try today going after mangrove snapper again because I know they're in here. I tried it out the channel, haven't had as much success as I have over here by the bollards. So what you have here is where I-275 I has the concrete where it meets the bridge columns over there where it turns into the asphalt. So they're, they're still columns, but they're just different. But uh, this, there's a lot of structure down here. And that's why the, uh, the mangroves are in here. Bring him back to Ants. Come on, let's give him a toss right out there. Let's see what happens. Tide's coming in all day today. Come on, let's see what's out there. Just that drag. A little bit tighter. Oh, finally got a fish on here. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Let's see if it's a mangrove or a jack. Let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's, I think it's a nice mangrove. Come on, guy. I got him in. I got to get him in. Look at this guy. Nice mangrove. First fish of the day. There he is. Beautiful mangrove, holy smolies, ha <laughs> That's what we come out here for. Beautiful. Let's check this guy out. Man, I tell you, look at that. Beautiful mangrove snapper. He's probably 13 and a half inches long. Let's see, maybe maybe 13, but just gorgeous. Right out here. Man, I tell you. First fish of the day. Let's see if I can hold on to this guy so he doesn't jump out. Nice 13 and a half inch mangrove snapper. What a beautiful looking guy. Look at the, oh, I tell you, just gorgeous. Man, I tell you, just nice on a half ounce flathead jig with a uh, with a greenback kind of on here. Boy, look at just gorgeous. Look at that. All I need is four more of these. I'm going to head in. It's get drop out. Let's get a measure on him. Oh, jeez, there he is. He landed right in the chum. <laughs> Come on, guy. This is a beautiful fish. That's just a beautiful mangrove. Oh, I hope he doesn't bite my fingers. You know how they bite them. Let's just let's just take this guy over there and um, put him on the check it stick while he's on the hook, just to be on the safe side. Okay, guy, let's check you out. Oh, that's just gorgeous. Look at this guy, 13 and a half inches long. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful looking mangrove snapper. I tell you what, right here, right on greenback, first fish of the day. Man, I tell you. Love these guys, just beautiful, good eating. I love coming out here after these guys. They're just a beautiful fish, hard fighting. Man, look at this. Look at how translucent that is, but nice size. Look at that, you squeeze them, 13 and a half. Oh man, you can see the teeth on them. Beautiful fish, so let's get another. Well, I'm gonna put a scale sardine on here right after that 13 and a half inch mangrove. And let's just see. Uh, these guys, ow. <laughs> That's a sharp hook. 
And that was a nice fish. What beautiful guy right there. Let's see what we can do now. I just chummed it up a little bit. Come on, guys. Take it. Oh, oh, he slammed it right off the bat. They're hitting it fast. Man, I tell you, holy cow. He cleaned me. They're hitting it fast. We're, they're just slamming this thing. Boy, they're hungry today. Come on. Let's go. Right there. I got to get ready. I got to get ready. These guys are just slamming that. They're coming right up from the bottom. With all that chum. Come on. Come on. Oh, look at that. Got him. <laughs> oh, he got off. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, man. Let's put a green back on here. Let's put a green back on here and try it. Boy, I tell you, they're just, it's not even getting down below the surface very much, and they're slamming it. That's a nice fish. That was a nice fish right there. Just toss them right out there like that. And click the bail. I got to get ready. These guys are hungry today. Look at that. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, there's a dolphin. Oh, got to watch it. Don't want to feed the dolphin. Whenever I see the dolphin, I reel in. Well, I'm going to give it a toss out there. I saw the dolphin and uh, let it go out there. Got to get ready. These guys have been slamming this really fast. I keep chumming it up. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Right, right about there. Right about there. That's where they've been slamming it. Come on. Come on. Come on, guys. Take it. Look at that. Oh, another one. Oh, another nice fish here. Another nice fish. Another nice one. Look at that. Oh, look at that mackerel. <laughs> look at that guy. Look at that beautiful guy. Holy smoly. Look at that. Another beautiful guy. <laughs> that's what we like to see. Look at him jumping around. Man, that's what we like to see. Come on, guys. Settle down. Another beautiful mangrove snapper. Probably a 12 incher, but you know what? Mangrove nonetheless. Love it. <sighs> Come on, guy. Let's get another one. Look at that. Look at how we got him on that uh, on that flathead jig, half ounce, and the, the tide's really taking it. Man. Come on, guy. Just a gorgeous mangrove snapper. I don't know how long I can stay out here with the with these waves, but uh, nice fish. Well, let's. Let's see if we can't get another one right out there. That's where I just got that 12 inch. It had a 13 and a half, got the 12, been getting slammed. These guys are hungry today. Boy, I tell you, anytime you get weather like this, rain and thunderstorms, these guys are hungry. Like I said, there, there are a lot more mangroves here than there are out in the channel right now. Come on. Oh, look at that. Here, this is a mangrove here. Boy, he's really fighting this guy. Look at this guy. Really fighting. Look at that. Holy smokes. <laughs> Come on, guy. Got to get him in, too. Wow, I tell you, that's a nice mangrove right there. Look at that guy. Oh, ho. beautiful guy. Oh, he got off. <laughs> beautiful guy. Look at that. Let's hold this guy up. Come on. Come on. Come on, guy. It's going to be okay. Look at that. Whoa! <laughs> he just he jumped in the in the net again. <laughs> Come on, that's the second mangrove that did that. Come on, watch it. These guys, I tell you what. <laughs> right in the net. Let's see if I can't get this guy out without losing him. Come on, he won't let go of the net. Get the bait in there. Man. Oh jeez. They're really active today. Really active. And I tell you, what a nice fish. What a nice mangrove snapper. Beautiful guy. Beautiful mangrove, man. Well, here's another nice guy. He's just the guy that jumped in the net. I gotta be careful he doesn't jump out of my hands. He's probably about 12 and a half, 13 inches, but man, they're really slamming me right down here. Just a beautiful guy. Boy, I tell you, what a great looking fish. They're really slamming today. Hitting the greenbacks, the sardines, it's not even getting halfway to the bottom and they're just slamming this thing. 
beautiful guy. Look at that. Here's another nice guy. Oh, yeah. Got to get him up. Got to get him up. Oh, this is a beautiful mangrove. Holy smolies. Look at that guy. That's a beautiful mangrove there. Holy cow. <laughs> Woo, look at that guy. Wow. That's a nice size mangrove right there. That's what we come out here for, guys, like that. Let's get a look. See, oh, he's barely hooked now. <laughs> look at him. Just a gorgeous mangrove. Just a gorgeous looking guy. Look at that. Beautiful. Man, he's probably 14 inches long. Man, what a nice looking mangrove. Good eating, too. Oh, <laughs> look at that guy. On that uh, flathead jig with a the greenback. They're just slamming it. They're hard to get. They're really finicky. They're slamming it and running. So, well, here's a nice mangrove. Another nice one. Look at them right on that uh, flathead jig. They're really slamming me. They're taking probably 10 greenbacks for every one I'm getting here. They're, they're hitting it hard and running, but it's it's kind of choppy out here. So uh, I'd like to get my limit and, <laughs> and then move on, you know, go in because, uh, like I said, choppy out here, but just a gorgeous looking fish. Look at that. That's what we come out here for. Beautiful mangrove snappers. Let's, let's get a measure on this guy. Look at that. His mouth is all chewed up. Let's see if we can hold this guy on here without him jumping off. Oh, let's just see. Come on, guy. Oh, oh, oh he's really active. He's really active. Oh, nice, nice 14 inch mangrove. Yep, that's a beautiful mangrove. 14 and a half inches long. Just a gorgeous guy. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, I tell you, right out here, right on greenbacks, and the tide's going in really wavy out here. Look at the waves. Holy cow. Port Manatee's in the background, but uh, really wavy. Just a beautiful fish. Come on, let's see what we can do with this sardine on here. Come on. Come on. Oh, look at that. Come on, come on, take it, take it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice fish here. Oh, yeah. Real nice mangrove here. Oh, yeah. This guy's a fighter. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, look at that. That's a beautiful mangrove. He's splashing away here. Come on. Got to get him in. Got to get him in. Oh, that's a nice big mangrove right there. Holy smoly. That's a big mangrove. <laughs> oh, he's really active. He hit a line sardine. That big guy. Come on, guy. Oh, ho ho! <laughs> They're really active today. Look at that beautiful looking man. Go, come on, guy. Let's hold you up for the camera. Come on. Oh, ho. wow! Just a beautiful mangrove snapper. Yeah, beautiful guy. Hit a live sardine. Boy, they were just slamming these things. Man, beautiful mangrove snapper. Oh, you see him snap? They're just slamming this thing. Got this guy on a um, on a live sardine. Just a beautiful looking fish. Well, he's probably 14 and a half inches long. Just a beautiful looking guy. And boy, just slamming him right out here. Right out there, whoa. Right out there, right here. Just dropping it in, letting it, it doesn't even get to the bottom and they're slamming it right there. Just having a good old time on Tampa Bay today. That's well, a little rough, but uh, Look, look, look at the results that it produces right here. Beautiful fish like this. Boy, you tell you, oh, he's really stamping it. Look at that. That's what I call a beautiful day on Tampa Bay, right there. Let's put this beautiful guy on the check it stick. Oh, look at that, 15 inches, easily. Oh, look at that. Yep, 50, I've got to hold on to him. 15 inch mangrove. Beautiful. Oh, he's going to be good eating. That guy is. And I tell you, right out here. Oh, I better hold on to him. Right out there. The same spot it was at before. Like I said, the, the mangroves, they, they've come out of the channel and they're now by the structure here. Really good fishing. Chumming them up and they're just slamming it. It's getting really rough out. I got my living in mangroves. Had a great time out here. It's only 917 right now. Look at that. 917. 
right there. Just beautiful out here today. But, you know, other than the waves, you can see the waves out there. You know, it was really tough staying out uh, between the uh, the two columns right there. Guys are fishing for tarpon. So, um, had a great time on Tampa Bay. Going to be heading in and uh, calling it a day. You can see how wavy it is. But uh, what a fantastic time Hit, getting mangroves on uh, the half-ounce jig with the live greenbacks and sardines. What a great time today. Anyways, we had a really great day today. It was only out there about 90 minutes because it was so rough. Nice 15, 14 and a half, 13 and a half inch mangroves. Holy cow, they were really hitting the greenbacks and sardines. Oh, I tell you, they were really hungry today. They were finicky, but but you had to um, you had to finesse these guys. It probably took me about eight or nine greenbacks per fish because they just slam it and take off. And that's what mangroves do. But when you get these guys, that's what they're like. Just like that. This guy's a nice 15 inch. Oh, I tell you, really fat looking guys. Look at that. Really nice. Good looking. Good looking. These guys are going to fry up really nicely. But that's what you call fishing and having fun and catching a cooler full of fish. I love it. Well, we had another great day out on Tampa Bay. It was a little bit breezy, but there's lots of mangroves. They cooperated. <laughs> Look at these guys. Really nice, 15, 14 and a half inches. And uh, I was out there about 90 minutes, but it was blowing so hard. I said, I got, I got to head in. It was just a little bit too wavy out there for my skiff. So, uh, but really nice. Got uh, my painted hooked up fly baits, uh, the greenbacks and sardines. That's what they were slamming. These guys, just like this. Man, I tell you, what a fun day. Well, I want to thank everybody for showing up today. I hope you enjoyed the show. I hope you learned something about the uh, fishing for the mangroves. I always like to show you what I'm doing and where I'm at and how to catch the mangroves using the, the greenbacks and and the uh, the scaled sardines and the uh, different jigs and the different rods and reels and the different line I use. So I want to thank everybody for showing up today. Give me a thumbs up for like. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Until next time, this is Goblin Saltwater Fishing Gamba. Happy fishing.